In today's video, I'll talk about what is a maid's receipt and letter of indemnity as well as statement of facts, which is also known as the timesheet. Maid's receipt is a receipt given usually by the chief officer for goods actually received on board. It should be properly drawn up containing details of identification, marks, quality, condition based on tally sheets and other cargo documents. Mace receipt is normally made in triplicate. One copy is kept on the ship, one provided to the shipper and one to the agent or charters. It is not recognized in a legal document of title but merely as a receipt of goods received. It must truthfully describe the order and condition of goods received and must be reflected similarly in bill of lading. Remark to the contrary may also be made. Its copy cannot be used by the receiver to collect the cargo at the port of destination. Although it may be accepted as a basic evidence of only receipt of cargo. In contrast, what are statement of facts or timesheet? Statement of facts or timesheet is a document drawn up in under to access the amount of demurrage dispatch. It therefore indicates a true certified copy of all operational activity in port. The main contents of the statement of facts or timesheet include date and time of arrival, date and time birthed, date and time notice of readiness standard and accepted, date and time loading commenced, in continuation, daily delays on accounts of ship, shore weather, cargo hatches working daily, daily outrun of cargo, daily hours of work, date time completed cargo work, date time sailing documents on board, and date time vessel sailed. This document is to be signed by master and is based on daily reports but must be scrutinized thoroughly before doing so. Finally, what is the letter of indemnity or LOI? Well, letter of indemnity is given or issued in the following circumstances. When master is asked to sign cargo figures which are at variance with shore figures or when master is asked to release cargo without the bill of lading or when master is asked to load cargo in rain for which letter of indemnity is issued by shippers or charters. The letter of indemnity, it should be clear in mind that the purpose of a letter of indemnity is to achieve the final objective of carrying out an act which is contrary to the good legal practice. Thus, accepting a letter of indemnity is equivalent to being a party to fraud and carrier will not be excused from any liability due to consequences of such LOI. It follows that when an individual knowing fully well that he is committing a wrong and commits that act must be held fully liable. Under no circumstances must a letter of indemnity be entertained. Letter of indemnity's main objective is to lodge a protest from the master's point of view. So I hope it was clear that what is a maid's receipt, statement of facts and letter of indemnity and what are its functions and status in terms of legal documentation. Let me know what you thought about this video and in, I will see you soon with my next video. Bye guys.